It's getting harder to believe in the great Australian dream. Interest rates are sky high, so too are house prices, and there simply aren't enough of them. But the housing crisis hasn't put off foreign investors who are splashing the cash. We should be so proud to have the people come here. We do have a housing issue, there is a supply issue, and having more buyers compete on a limited amount of supply is just going to make it even more challenging for a local person to find a home to live in. There's a reason Australia is called the lucky country, and it seems more and more foreign investors want a piece of our paradise. The block auctioneer, Tom Panos. Go on, Sol, congratulations. I'm seeing more and more of different parts of the world buying real estate, and it's very clear why they would. It is a safe place. It's got great facilities, and more importantly, it is seen as the mecca for education, so you can actually see a lot of people wanting to live here. New data has revealed Chinese buyers increased their spending on Aussie homes by $1 billion in the past financial year, splashing $3.4 billion in total. Foreign investors from other countries were nowhere near as active. Investors from Hong Kong, the second biggest spenders, splashing $600 million on Aussie homes during the same period. The government approved 6,576 foreign investment proposals for residential properties in the past financial year, up from 5,433 the year before. But the number of Chinese buyers approved to buy Aussie homes dropped from 2,601 to 1,775. After COVID, we have seen more Chinese buyer, Hong Kong buyer, and even now Taiwanese buyer trying to move to Sydney. They come with cash ready. They don't even need finance. Most of our buyer, they just pay cash. So this is the penthouse. Yep. Stephanie Wong works for Plus Agency, which markets new home projects and properties in Sydney to foreign buyers. There's a restriction for overseas buyers. They can only buy brand new property or a heavily um, renovated house. One of the latest listings is this five bedroom, four bathroom penthouse with 270 degree views of Sydney Harbour Bridge and Lavender Bay. This penthouse is a brand new apartment, so all the overseas buyer can purchase this one. The building's been specifically designed to appeal to Chinese buyers in the lift, there's no number four. We try to take away all the number four. It's just not a very good number for Chinese. Chinese would love number eight, number nine. So that's, these are the, some of the little things that can actually be a no for the buyer, just because of the number. The penthouse is on the market for $14.5 million, but an overseas buyer will likely have to pay more than $16 million for it because of extra fees and surcharges. So the application fee would be around 2 to 3%. And on top of the stamp duty, there's another surcharge as well. And that's another roughly 8%, which calculate up to 1.6 million in total. So this is my absolute favorite room. Monica too runs Black Diamond's property concierge and works with international buyers keen to get into the Australian property market. I just did a very big tour, you know, in Southeast Asia and, and China. So we have found out, you know, Australia is still the number one, which is like really good news for, for our business. One of Monica's latest listings is this five-bedroom home on a corner block in Warrawee in Sydney's north. It's not brand new, so the buyer will either have to be a local or have a visa. If you are not an uh, Australian permanent residents, you literally cannot buy the established homes. So the people we work with, they either have a temporary visa or permanent visa or Australian citizen. She says the home would appeal to her Chinese Australian clients because it's square and flat. Feng Shui is like number one in a property for Chinese. That's why I'm, I'm very specialised in that part. You know, the land is very flat and it's on the corner block. It's got potentials. It's going to be sold. Tom Panos spends his Saturdays auctioning homes. 
When it's really clear that it's someone local and they buy the property, you get this big general loud of applause at the end of the auction when the hammer goes down. But sometimes when the local buyer is actually outpriced, outcompeted, outbid, the clapping is not as long and you can sometimes walk away looking at people's reactions on their faces, saying to themselves, we'll never buy something. Sold, congratulations!